Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the Free County software users to show you guys how to install Free County software. So, uh, in this case, I've already got the old version of Free County software installed. Um, if you are a new user to Free County software, you might want to, well, you'll have to skip this bit. So, um, I'm just going to start up the old version. Gonna log in. Okay. Um, now I have got here three businesses listed. Um, one for the 2021 financial year, one for the 2022 financial year, and a hosted business. So prior to doing. Um, this upgrade we want to do a backup okay so it's a good idea to always do backups and the way to do that is you open your business up and then you click on F and save backup file okay I'm just going to put it on the desktop and call it my business dash backup in fact I'll call it 2022 Okay, now because of security in the um, software, you also need to back up your FAS identity file. If you don't have a backup of your FAS identity file, um, you will not be able to open that mybusiness.fas file that we've just saved. So I'm going to back up the FAS identity file. In fact, I'll just put that on the desktop. Now, for security reasons, your FAS identity file really should be um, stored separately um, to your mybusiness.fas file, and um, maybe a USB or something would be a better choice. Um, and certainly don't store it online with any cloud storage. Okay, so having done that, I'm just going to exit the software. Okay, now um, what we can do is actually uninstall the um, old version of the software. So we can go to Add Remove Programs, type in FAS, and click Uninstall. This message says, um, do you want to completely remove FAS3 desktop and all of its components? It actually won't remove the files, uh, the data files that you've got stored on your computer or, or your FAS identity file. Um, but in any case, we've got a backup of that. All right, now, I'm going to go and download the new version. So we go to the free county software.com.au website and um, I'm on a Windows system here. There's an option for a Mac and Linux as well. So I'll just click this link to download that file. Okay, now it's probably going to warn me about security. This file is not di digitally signed, so um, it's giving me a warning. Open executable file? Question mark. I'm just going to say OK. There is this message: Windows protected your PC. Um, 
you see that it hasn't actually got any option other than don't run but if you click more info then it um, does give you the option to run anyway I will um, go and get a digital certificate or a code signing certificate and sign this and that'll take a little bit of time so um, if you are downloading this from the freeaccountingsoftware.com.au website uh, I think that's pretty safe and you should check that um, if, if, if you're not downloading it from the Free County Software website you really shouldn't do that actually but anyway um, I don't know why you download it from anywhere but our website okay so not, Okay, so I had to click on that um, window to bring this up. But anyway, um, do you want to allow this app from unknown publisher to make changes? Yes. Okay, and there it is installed. So I can just double click on that to start that up. In. Okay, and then you see all your files are still there and all the data is still there. It looks very similar to the old version, um, but it does have some new features. Um, now, at this point uh, in time, June um, 2022, we've just released the Single Touch Power 2 version. So I just want to point out um, that on the website there are a bunch of other videos related to the Single Touch Parallel 2 updates and um, you should definitely go ahead and have a look at those. Um, if you're viewing this video at a later time, um, that may have all changed. Anyway. Um, I hope this video has been useful to you and thanks for watching.